So my goals for 2018. Goals are very important for me. They allow me to concentrate on what I want to do well in. They give me focus and they also give me accountability. So we'll go through my goals here. I have them for cycling YouTube and some other ones um, as well, which I'm going to come up with later. So 340 watts for 20 minutes, sub 60 kilos, top three Swain's Lane, box hill top 100. I want to be a category two or one racer, frequent FTP test, 15,000 kilometers, top 10 in a hill climb competition. On YouTube, I want 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year, five to six videos a week constantly, a thousand video, so like a thousand views vid on a video, um, and video one video over 100,000 views. So we'll go through the cycling ones in this video and maybe a bit of YouTube. Um, so 340 watts for 20 minutes. Let's see how obtainable that is. I'm going to go through them and tell you how obtainable I think they are. So we did an FTP test um, in the 3rd of September, and I'll show you my training My training log is here. Um, so up to so my my train my FTP test was here. Uh, so I had a good solid training week in July. So if we start from July, I had a a thirteen fourteen hour, then twenty four, then seventeen, then eleven, then fifteen, then eleven, then fifteen, then seven, then three hours, and then that was where basically. So I had a basically a rest week before it, and hit five watts per kilo. That was basically two rest weeks. So I think I probably could have gone a bit higher on my FTP. Not gonna lie. So that was the in a, a way I calculated that was by doing the eight minute test. Um, so if we do the eight minute test, that assumes that we can show you here. So 300 divided by 0.9 would, so 300 is my FTP. And if you think about your 20 minute power is mostly 0.95 your FTP. So if we do that, then we will get 315 watts, 316 watts. So according to my FTP test, I could probably do 316 watts for 20 minutes on that day. Okay, um, so then if we go on to a different ride, which was on a really heavy week, I hit 303 watts. So I'd say 316 is probably about right for that time. So in order to get to 340 watts, that would be an increase of 14 watts. No, 24 watts, sorry, which I think is doable in a year, um, especially if I do some big miles in January and February when I'm in Adelaide. Um, I think it will definitely be attainable. The main thing is just being able to find a 20-minute hill climb because obviously I'll be able to put more power up the hill and on the flat, so that's a, that's an important thing to take into consideration. Sub 60 kilos, that's just eating high carb vegan diet, should do it. I'm like 60 now, and just concentrate on little oil um, and whatever, and that should be fine. I should hopefully, if I'm 57 kilos and have a 342 watts, that's six watts per kilo for 20 minutes, which is sort of the ultimate goal, but I don't really want to put that down just because there's a lot of variables. But that's the real goal, six watts per kilo for 20 minutes. So oh, we'll see if it's possible, we'll see, we'll see. Um, my next is to, to get a top three in Swain's Lane, uh, which will be hard, definitely. So you can see here is some power data. So I this is my urban hill climb, absolute failure. I unclip, my Garmin didn't record. But anyway, so basically I did 493 watts, 1 minute 22. And I basically hold 500 watts for about 140. As I did I completed in 138, which is roughly what I think I did. Um, that's just for the urban hill climb. But if we go on to this... Um, you'll see that um, the real the real one is slightly longer, um, and it will be hard for me to get into the top three. Oh, these are all urban hill climb efforts. Sorry, I'll just have to find it really quickly. Um, and I think it'll be hard for me to do that definitely because I'm not the most punchy of riders. However, I know I know in my heart of heart that I probably can do it if I really concentrate in um, August when I'm doing some hill climb efforts. So here we go, Swain sprints. Sorry, my internet connection is rather slow. Um, but yeah, I think that will be one of my hardest goals, trying to get top three up to Swain's Lane. I think it will roughly be about eight watts per kilo for two to three minutes, which will be hard to do. But I think at the moment, my best three minute power is about seven or something. So maybe one watt per kilo will be possible. Um, okay, so the next one is Box Hill Top 100. Um, when this loads, I'll go back to it. Um, I don't know why my internet's so slow. Normally it's fast. Uh, so we got Box Hill to get a top 100. So at the moment I'm 785 out of 87,000. And I did 360 watts of 541. I could probably do 400, I'd say. Like going full gas. Because I know I definitely could have gone harder than what I've done today. Because I've hit 370 watts for 5 minutes before. And I wasn't too tired. So I think I definitely improved this power. And this was almost perfect wind conditions. That's why I got the personal best. It was 24 k's an hour. 
will I be able to get a top 100? It will be hard, definitely. Um, but if I get my friend to help draft me for like half of it, it should be possible, I'd say. Um, I'm not sure what time I'd need. Um, the, also, the other problem is obviously there's a lot of professionals um, who will be. So to get a top 100, I need to do 27Ks an hour. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, definitely. Um, but these people are amateurs here. Them, I know he's a good climber. Um, but obviously some of them, I explain he rides for um, Manson Genesis. Um, so yeah, it'll definitely be hard. But I think I'll be able to do it if I really concentrate. If I can hit like six, no, sorry, seven, seven watts per kilo. If I can hit 400 watts, 420 watts maybe at 57 kilos. So 400 watts at 57 kilos is seven watts per kilo. So maybe if I can hit a little over 400 watts, I get down to 57 kilos. Should be possible with great wind conditions. Um, so shaving like 40 seconds off a five minute time. Yeah, it's definitely going to be hard. I think... The segment times are definitely going to be harder. They're also quite sort of fake goals in some way because obviously it changes the whole time. But maybe a five-minute goal would be better. So if I did five minutes, that could be a goal that would get me above a lot of professionals. Um, obviously, they had a, bun a bunch to draft off, but I think maybe that should be my goal, five minutes. That will be that will be an interesting goal. I'll let you know how that goes on. Um, we then have Category 2 or 1 Racer. Um, so to get a category two license should be fine. That's only forty points. If I go to Whole Hill where there's a like a little hill at the end, that should be definitely fine because I can I know I can win those races. I've won those races before. Well, not won. Sorry, I've got top three, top four. And my positioning wasn't great, so I know if I keep working hard and um, do a proper training, I'll, I should be able to get forty points because that will be probably like six, seven races. So if we go here. I literally came, did two, three races there. One I didn't finish because I followed the wrong move and blew up. And I had barely raced. Then I came third. Then I came fourth. And the fourth one I was like at the very back of the group and just held power the whole way up the climb. I had rubbish position in that whole race. Um, so I think that should be fine, to be honest. Um, frequent FP test, that's just up to me. That's just me having personal discipline and just wanting to do it. Um, I think I make excuses because I live in London. It's harder for me to do them because finding 20 minutes of open road is near impossible unless I really get the train out because the problem is if I want to do an FTP test let's say up Box Hill it's take quite a long time to get out there but my legs are often tired but I think I just need to take the L on the cash it, I mean I only need to get the train out there have a quick warm up and then just smash it up Box Hill that get, will give me a bit more adrenaline and like purpose because that whole ride that whole train journey is there so like you don't want to embarrass yourself you know I mean, like if it's just a part of a ride you can always make excuses but if you're like I've got the train here I'm not tired this is it I think that'll be good 15,000 kilometers, I've done 12,000, and if we look at my years, year to date, if we look at like January and February, I was playing football for school and had lots of schoolwork, I was doing five, six hours, three hour weeks even, so it's it's quite conceivable for me to do 15,000 kilometers um, next year, because I have no work and then university at the end, and then top 10 hill climb, that again depends on the hill climb a lot. But that's that's also same similar with my powerful box hill. That's just hitting four hundred, over four hundred watts for five minutes at fifty seven, fifty eight kilos. That's that will be, that should get me a top ten. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing the urban hill climb next year because I'll be at university, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, that will we'll see. All right, so we'll go back to Swain's Lane. So I, I did a great one there, 13 minutes. I think I stopped halfway up or something to wait for uh, eat plants. So I was waiting away. So I'm at the moment, I'm 247, but I haven't really done full gas. So top three, we'll be able to see the power. I think the person who won, he's he's a young lad. He's, he's got some numbers on him. He's definitely got some numbers on him. 541, he weighs about 57 kilos. So that's why I need to do And I can do 540 for two minutes probably now, or more or less. So I think it's definitely possible. And I know Kurukov is a Michael Kurukov, he's about the same weight as me. He did a four sixty five and he came sixth. So yeah, it'll be it'll be tough. Isaac Mundy now professional rider for Gel, uh, for Madison Genesis. He five hundred and ninety, but he's a bit of a heavy rider, he's about sixty five, sixty six kilos, so it's about ten more nine, nine, eight to nine watts per kilo, I'd say, for um for two minutes. So should be doable. Should be doable. But there'll definitely be some training. This is the problem. A lot of my efforts, like trying to increase every effort is quite hard but if i concentrate throughout the year really concentrate maybe early on on the fdp 
try and really hit close to my maximal numbers because I have six weeks in Adelaide, so hopefully maybe longer if I stay longer. Um, I haven't exactly decided. Then I should hopefully have enough time to boost up. I say at the moment I'm probably three hundred five for twenty minutes, three hundred five, three ten, maybe only three hundred. Like I can do two hundred and eighty watts for twenty minutes. Well, fi- uh, for like fifteen twenty minutes, sweet spot, fine. I can do an hour of that. So I'd say three hundred is probably about right. 315 and then if I train there plus at the moment I'm only doing the sweet spot on the flat so that will give, give me an extra five watts or so I'm going to YouTube this is mainly just me bang out videos just bang out videos hopefully you lot will watch 2,000 subscribers might be a bit ambitious but I feel like with the way I've seen YouTube at the moment on my channel even though it's tiny at the moment is like it grows so much if you just keep banging out the videos like suddenly you're like one of my videos got a thousand views overnight which might sound like not very impressive but for me that was like like most of my views for the whole month came in one day. Um, and then, yeah, that's just mainly me smashing them out. I think most of these I can control. Obviously, top three is Wayne Zane and Box Hill top 100. It's hard to control, literally, just because other people might change it. And I think Cat 1 Racer will be very hard because I'll have to get 240 points, I think it is, or something. So 40 points and then get another 200 after that is it will be hard. Or maybe it's only 140 points, but it depends. If I get accepted to the bigger races, then maybe. But I think Cat 2 would be good for me. I'd, I'd, I'd like that. And then the rest of them is just, yeah, up to me. I mean, weight is always hard because weight changes quite a lot. But I think it's just eating a good diet consistently, um, getting rid of fat and oil. And then hopefully we'll get below 60 and that will allow me to hit 6 watts per kilo for 20 minutes, which is my ultimate goal. Because I think once I hit that, that's like fucking good. Like that that, that, that would be like, yeah, you're, you're good enough to ride like for a continental team, maybe, like maybe. Obviously not for my weight, but if I was 70 kilos, then definitely. But I think that would be very something I'd really like to do. Um, and it would just be quite fun just having that up my locker. Um, it'll be hard work, but we love a bit of we love pain. Um, so cheers for watching. What are your goals? Uh, write them in the comments below. Do you think my goals are ridiculous? Maybe, but got to aim high. Cheers for watching. See ya.